Dennis De Silva here, class of 1970. I was a boarder at PrEP and we used to walk from Zeta Road, I think it was, all the way past Gordon Road Girls School, where we used to have a good squiz at the girls. And that was a lot of fun. But my favourite memory of the school was playing on the sports field at the boarding house, mixing with all the mates. And a memory for me at DPHS, it stands out above the rest, would be my grade seven bra. Um, it was pouring us rain. Uh, we all got stuck into a massive game of copper stump. Uh, honestly, guys were putting their body on the line. It was like they were playing for their life, really. Uh, it, was, it was a lot of fun. It was intense, but a lot of fun. Um, so yeah. I can't really pinpoint one, one memory exactly, but I've had many, many good times over the years. And Prep has always had something fun uh, or different for us to do, whether it's the annual camp, uh, Prep camp out, or the annual sports day, or just the weekly sporting fixtures, the school plays, and the cross country day. So there was always something new and something fun for us to do, and it was always an exciting time at TPHS. Um, my favorite memory of Prep would probably have to be all the sporting tours we went on with our mates, um, especially the Cape Town rugby tour. That, uh, that final game against Saks was always such a tough one and um, it was really special to get, uh, to get a win in, uh, in our last game for prep. My mother, brother and I were refugees from Iraq when my father worked and uh, we had to leave when the Germans were approaching. We then became uh, refugees into Durban. I remember the school as a fairly simple brick built structure uh, with sizable playing fields. It appears to be more built up now. I enjoyed myself at PrEP because they were so accommodating and friendly to an absolute newcomer. I had to learn all about Afrikaans with an American accent. Quite difficult, you know. And uh, I learned about rugby and I learned about actually eventually becoming the captain of the first, 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 first my name is Aubrey Bidgood and I was at PrEP from 1938 to 1943. In my last year I was appointed Head Prefect and also Captain of the first cricket team. Our Headmaster was Mr. Hayson, a very strong disciplinarian but a fair man who worked hard for the school during difficult times amidst the Second World War. My best memory was when I was in Standard 3, which I think is Grade 4, Grade 5, and I was sent to the Headmaster, to Mr. Smith, because I did not complete my colouring in for my Geography teacher. So I went in and Mr. Smith saw the note from the teacher, um, Miss McGill, if I recall her name, who I've since reconnected with at my kids' school, and uh, he says, my boy, uh, you didn't finish the you know your homework so bend over and I took a hard caning just one hard one I turned round and grimaced a little tear in my eye and Mr. Smith asked he says Dante why did you not finish your colouring in and I opened my book I said Mr. Smith the only animal I did not colour in was the last animal in this book and the reason why I didn't colour in this animal because I believe that it is a white rhino and did not need colouring in I subsequently received a credit that I never went to claim from Mr. Smith. So those were my fondest memories. And the teacher that, well, the guy who looked after us there was Mr. Rowe, the art teacher. Hell of a nice chap. The teacher had to Mr. Smith. Your she took no nonsense, none whatsoever. Uh, so yeah, and she just put a lot of effort into the class and I learned so much from her. I thoroughly enjoyed my grade four year uh, with Mr. Smith. I was fortunate to have really good teachers throughout the whole of my prep career and each teacher had a unique impact in my life in some way big or small so I will always be thankful for the leadership at DPHS. My favorite teacher, yeah it's a tough one, I was really lucky to have such great teachers, um, don't want to upset anyone but would probably have to be Mrs. Woodcock. 
Um, I can just clearly remember how excited we, uh, we all were when we were put into the class. Uh, my favorite teacher was Mr. Rankin. In fact, uh, I snuck someone else's name card uh, that was next to Mr. Rankin's at our grade seven dinner and swapped it with mine so that I could sit next to him. He was a hero of mine. I loved that man. And uh, he made my school career so much better. Going back to the masters at the school, I know quite a few, but I would like to mention particularly Mr. Van der Velt, who was the, Afri the Afrikaans master and who compiled a textbook called Afrikaans as Queer the Town for all the students. And then of course there was the old man at the school, Mr. Wilkinson, who was the woodwork master forever and ever. Favourite teacher, uh, believe it or not, was Mr. Smith. Uh, although I had other cool teachers when in my time there, What would I tell my 13-year-old self? Definitely to do some studying and get on with the work. I'm now a self-employed person. I have an engineering business and fencing and gates and steelwork. Uh, and the piece of advice I give my 13-year-old self um, would be that kindness is not a weakness. Um, kindness goes a long way uh, today and honestly, it's really needed to, uh, after today's world. Um, so yeah, that would be the piece of advice I give to my 13 year old The advice I could give to any student at DPHS is to just really embrace what school has to offer you. So make the most of sports, get involved with sports, get involved with cultural activities and extramurals and put yourself out there and really just try and get out of your comfort zone. Um, embrace the people around you and embrace your friends because it's those relationships that you'll keep for life advice for my younger self um, it would probably have to be to just enjoy and appreciate you know all the moments we had with all our mates we know how we know now how quickly the years go by and just also appreciate um, everything the school has uh, has to offer you I think you quickly realize how lucky we were to attend a school like prep and if I had to tell my 13 year old self anything I would say if I had to invest in anything or work hard at anything, it would be with my friends and my families, because that's the stuff that gets you through the tough times, the highs and the lows. Um, what can I tell my fellow 13-year-olds uh, and my former 13-year-old self is that you can do anything in life, and if uh, you start something out and you don't like it, just change, change tact and pursue something else. But commit to whatever you are pursuing, because sometimes, um, the results of what you are pursuing, uh, they take time and time ages you. So you've got to make sure what you're doing you have conviction and passion for.